I'm shooting this video to show you one of the little issues you may encounter if you have a 5685 uh, servo installed into a power gearbox and you rotate the power gearbox by hand. Uh, right now I'm using the SPG 5685A-BM servo power gearbox with the standard rotation and it has been programmed to 180 degrees. Uh, right now I have it connected to a dual servo driver and it's running a 6 volt power source. So I'll go ahead and show you the normal operation. You can see it's fully proportional. If I rotate it a little bit, it's going to rotate a little bit. If I rotate it fast, it mimics the rotation of the knob. And if I rotate the knob slowly, it'll do the same. Now, if you unplug the servo and rotate the shaft by hand, which you're not supposed to do, I'm going to go past the mechanical limit of the potentiometer on the servo power gearbox. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in. All right. As you can see, it doesn't do anything at all. And that's because it's beyond the mechanical limit of the potentiometer on the back side of the servo power gearbox. So I'm going to try to rotate this by hand. It's very difficult to rotate. Now, when I got inside of the mechanical limit of the potentiometer on the back side of the power gearbox, it went ahead and responded. Um, so now you can see it still has the full use of the range, but I did adjust the center point. Uh, you can see that the, the rotation is about 45 to 50 degrees off to the clockwise direction. And that's because when I rotated it, on the back side, this pot potentiometer is being driven by the 3 8 inch shaft going through the power gearbox. Uh, as I reach the mechanical limit, there's a little slip joint in here that allows the potentiometer um, to slip inside of the shaft, and that'll protect it from being damaged. Uh, but it does, um, it does allow you to put it within that range that it's not going to respond to. So I'm going to show you going the other direction right quick. So I'm going to unplug it, rotate it outside of the mechanical limit one more time, which I would not recommend doing, and plug it in. And it doesn't do anything at all. This time I'm going to unplug it. It's probably a safer method to get it back in the usable range. It should be in the usable range now. Now when I plug it in, you can see that it operates perfectly normally. So we didn't damage the servo or the potentiometer, um, but I did want to show you guys that in case when you get your servo power gearbox, if you rotate it by hand, you might be uh, outside of that usable range. So uh, you might try rotating it back the other way a little bit and plugging it in to see if it'll work.